I'm gonna share with you three techniques on how to influence people. When I first got involved in sales, I remember having like a three sales job and only making about 15,000 baht a month. And I felt so frustrated trying to figure out how to influence people. In short, I really didn't feel I was any good at it. I certainly had heard of the concept of natural born salesperson, but I was not one of them. In fact, I really struggled to persuade people and I was asking myself, can I really influence people? So if you ever felt that way, I can relate. And you see, what changed my life is what my mentor, or one of my mentors named Jim Rohn said. He says, if you wanna be successful, study success. You know, if you wanna be wealthy, study well. If you wanna be a great influencer, then you must study influence. So the opportunity to take one of the best influence course in the world came, and it was about the science of influence and the psychology of how to influence people. And I remember feeling like I would like to take the course, but I didn't even have any money. I remember the salesperson, you know, helping me get a credit card so he could put the course on a credit card and signing up for that course thinking, is this really going to change my life? It was a three days course and it cost 60,000 baht, which certainly was a lot of money back then. So what happened after I took the course? Well, that is a story because I felt I was like a sponge sucking all that information and it was so valuable. And I realized that truly influence is a skill anyone can learn. I remember the teacher saying that this course could be one of the most important course you will ever take in your life. He says, you know, you want to make sure that you put your full effort in this course. He says, in fact, you want to study at least one hour every day, which I made a decision in that moment, which is exactly what I did. I studied influence for one hour per day. As a result of studying influence one hour per day, my ability grew like crazy. I became a great influencer and immediately my income grew by six 100% within just two months. Within a short period of time, I went from broke to millionaire in 3.5 years. And since then, I have made $50 million by influencing people. So I wanna let you know that this could be one of the most important video you'll ever watch. So would you like to learn how to influence people? Here are three secrets to influence people. Number one, rapport. Now, what does rapport mean exactly? It means that people like you, that people trust you, that people feel good about you. Up to 90% of all influence comes from building rapport. Why? Simple, because people buy from people they like. So the big question is, well, what makes somebody like another person, right? And I want you to think of somebody you really like. Can you think of somebody like that, that you really like? And as you think about them, why do you like that person? And the answer is simple. It's either number one, because that person is either like you. People that are like each other tend to like each other. Or you like that person, because they're a role model and you would like to become like them. Isn't that true? So the question is, well, how do we build similarity with other people? And in studying influence, one of the best answers I found was actually using NLP. It was a tool called matching and mirroring. You see, here's why this is important. Most people, when we try to find things in common, we use words. Imagine meeting somebody for the first time at a network event and you ask them, hey, how are you? What do you do? Where are you from? What are you looking for? You're looking for things in common, isn't it? But here is what our research shows on the science of influence. Only 7% of communication is words. You know, 38% is tonality and 55% of communication is visual. What that means is only 7% is words and 93% of all communication is nonverbal. So here's what that really means. Matching and mirroring is an NLP tool that we become like the other person, but we don't just use words. We also use the nonverbal. If they talk fast, we talk fast. If they talk slow, then we talk slow. 
You see, if they talk loud, we talk loud. If they talk very soft, then we talk very soft. If they use their hands a lot, then we use our hands a lot when we talk. You know, if they smile a lot, <laughs> then we want to smile a lot too. And the more that we become like the other person, we are building unconscious rapport. Does that make sense? The second principle or secret to influencing people is a tool that I call the agreement frame. And I've taught this to many people, and it's one of the most powerful tools of influence. Here's why. You see, the number one reason that people cannot influence other people is because people don't like to be wrong. So when we disagree with the other person, we will immediately lose rapport with them. So one of the things that we never want to do, we never want to disagree or make the other person wrong. Therefore, here's what that means. You need to make sure that you have a tool to always agree with people regardless of what they say, even if you don't agree with them. How do you do that? Well, the first secret is don't use the word but. Don't say, I agree with you, but. Instead, what you wanna use is you wanna use the word and. A-N-D, and. That is a magic word. And I would use three magic phrases. To, you can pretty much agree with people using these three magic phrases. The first one is, I appreciate and. The second one is, I agree and. And the third one is, I respect and. Now, you can always appreciate, agree, or respect with two things. You can either appreciate, respect, or agree their feelings or their intention. Isn't it true? So, for example, if somebody say, I don't have money, I say, well, I can appreciate that you don't have money right now because I know what that feels like. And that brings up a question. The question is, how can we get the money? You see how I agree and redirect. Okay, so that's the second tool of influence. You always want to agree with the other person, never make them wrong. So let's go now to the third secret. And the third secret of influence is questions. You see, what we need to do is we need to plan our questions. We need to ask great questions that lead people to buy our product or service. What they found is bad salespeople talk too much. They talk 80% of the time, whereas the prospect only talk 20% of the time. Whereas in the top salespeople, we found out that the top persuaders, they don't talk too much. They talk only 20% of the time and the other person talk 80% of the time. So what we have learned is that the greatest persuaders are the ones who ask the best questions. So that's why when you're planning to persuade somebody, you wanna make sure that you plan all of your questions to ask them, right? And that's how we plan our presentation because we wanna make sure that we ask the right questions instead of the wrong question. Because if you ask the wrong question, you will not influence them. Obviously, I cannot teach you all of this system of influence in one session, but you can still get the concept that asking questions is the key of the top influencers. Does that make sense? All right, this is Michael Boldick signing off, saying share this video because when you're sharing this video with other people, you're not just sharing a video, but you're helping people transform their life.